What's going on guys and welcome to the Chainsaw Man season finale anime recap. In the last episode, we see Aki visit the future devil who is a humanoid creature and agrees to let it inhabit his right eye in order to make a contract with it. Denji and Power are trained by Kishibe who tells them that they'll soon be practicing in real combat to capture the people who killed Himeno and public safety. Kishibe and Makima meet in private in which Kishibe accuses Makima of knowing about the attack on public safety and letting it happen. Makima meets with the leader of the Yakuza and threatens him with the eyeballs of his associate's loved ones in order to get information about the Snake Girl's contract with the Gun Devil. Division 4 and the police begin their mission of capturing the Snake Girl and Katana Man. We are then introduced to some of the members of Division 4 including the Shark Fiend, Violence Fiend, Spider Devil, and the Angel Devil. Aki finds and fights the Snake Girl who summons the Ghost Devil from her encounter with Himeno and orders it to kill Aki. We find out the future devil allows Aki to see into the future to dodge attacks, but he still gets caught by the ghost devil and gets strangled out. Episode 12 opens up with Aki being strangled up by the ghost devil. As he starts losing consciousness, we get a flashback of when Aki had just teamed up with Himeno. We see them at a restaurant as Himeno peer pressures Aki into smoking his first cigarette, but she eventually backs off when Aki reveals to her that he's still a minor. Once he regains consciousness, we see that Aki is no longer in the clutches of the ghost devil as it seems to have let him go. As he looks up to it, it puts its hand out and gives Aki a cigarette. After grabbing it, we see that it says easy revenge on it which snaps Aki back to his senses and is reminded of what Himeno told him. The ghost devil has no eyes and therefore can't see so it uses its victim's fear. After remembering that, Aki slowly makes his way towards its head and swiftly decapitates it and kills the ghost devil. He then turns to the snake girl. Just as she was about to summon the snake devil, Kobani gets behind her and puts a knife to her throat. Aki then orders Kobani not to kill her. We then see Denji and Power in an elevator, and they get in a scuffle about eating zombie meat. As the elevator opens up, they are greeted by a horde of zombies. Denji notes that they haven't noticed their presence, to which Power responds by yelling. She tells the zombie who she is and charges at them, telling Denji to watch her back. However, Denji chooses to ignore Power and close the elevator door. Not having realized Denji leaving, Power still goes on a rampage killing all the zombies. A few floors up, Denji comes out of the elevator and is faced with the Katana Man and two of its underlings. The Katana guy tells Denji to take it easy as he would rather talk it out with the possibility of him surrendering, claiming that they simply want closure. He goes on to say that Denji not only killed the Katana Man's grandpa but he also killed the underlings' friends. Denji explains that he had no choice but to kill them since they had turned into zombies and were going after him. However, they don't buy it and get pissed off saying that Denji is lying. He also says that regardless of if they were zombies that they still used to be people. He then asks Denji if he even feels bad about killing them, to which Denji says no. The katana guy explains that his heart was replaced with the katana devils but he still has a hard time sleeping at night knowing that he has killed zombies before. He tells Denji that it seems that he's the only one whose heart is no longer human and that if he has any remorse he should just lay down and let them kill him. But Denji refuses and the two transform into their devil modes and start fighting. The two jump out the side of the building while clashing. The katana guy seems to struggle to cut up Denji while they start to free fall towards the ground. Denji gets kicked down to a rooftop where they both exchange a few blows before Denji gets kicked away onto a moving train. The katana guy says that Denji has gotten stronger and asks him what he's fighting for. Denji says that he's trying to protect the comfortable life that he has built up and that despite having to put up with Aki and power, that life is good. They continue to clash and although Denji is holding his own, he gets smashed inside the train cart. Denji then gets hit by the katana devil's special attack where he speed blitzes him which results in a severed arm. Denji foolishly asks him to stop using that move but he does it again and Denji is left armless. The katana man says that it's over for Denji since he has no more arms to fight with and asks him to apologize for killing his grandfather. To which Denji replies that the fight isn't over since he still has the chainsaw on his head. The two clash one last time and we see Denji's last chainsaw break apart. But we find out that Denji was able to produce a chainsaw from his leg which he used to cut the katana guy clean in half. The katana guy wakes up in his human form tied up to the train him and Denji just fought in. Denji notes that the two are quite similar, especially when it comes to their healing abilities. He also says that he isn't satisfied yet despite having captured his target. 
Denji mentions that because the katana guy killed Himeno, that there is one less hot woman in the world and that just doesn't sit right with him. Just as Denji suggests a contest, Aki shows up and gives the police their location so that they can take away the katana guy. Denji asks Aki to join his contest. He explains that since katana guy shot Himeno, that they should take shots at him. Nut shots to be exact, and the one who makes him yell the loudest wins. Despite some reluctance on Aki's side, he decides to participate in Denji's contest and the two proceed to absolutely destroy that man's balls. Makima is seen reporting the details of the aftermath of their mission. We find out that Snake Girl is called Akane Sawatari and that she used to be a devil hunter that worked in the private sector. Akane had a contract with the gun devil and was ordered to retrieve the chainsaw devil's heart. Just before they were about to ask why the gun devil wanted the chainsaw devil's heart, Akane was killed by a devil. Makima speculates that this could be due to her contract with the gun devil. She goes on to say that from this mission, they were able to amass 1.4 kilos of the gun devil's flesh. And combined with the 5 kilos already in public safety's possession, the chunk of flesh has finally begun to move towards the main body. We see Aki going out for a smoke and the cigarette he picks up is the one the ghost devil handed him that had easy revenge written on the side. He goes on to smoke it and we see the word easy slowly turn to ash. We then see Denji passed out in Aki's living room. It then cuts to a first person view of someone walking down some alleyway. It's later revealed that it's a young Denji that arrives in front of a door. Denji says that this is a dream he always has but also always forgets. We then hear what seems to be Pochita call Denji. Pochita proceeds to warn Denji to not open the door. Season 1 of Chainsaw Man comes to a close with an unrevealed black haired woman speaking to herself asking if Denji would rather be a country or city mouse. And that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed make sure you like and subscribe and comment below what you thought of season 1 of Chainsaw Man. And until the next upload, peace.